This video will show the anatomy of the heart along with the EKG. The first chamber is the right atrium. This receives the deoxygenated blood from the inferior and superior vena cava. The next chamber is the right ventricle. This will receive the blood from the right atrium and then push it to the lungs to receive oxygen. This is the left atrium and it receives oxygenated blood from the lungs. The next chamber is the left ventricle. It receives the blood from the left atrium and then it will push it out through the aorta to the rest of the body. The atrial ventricular valve on the right side is called the tricuspid valve. The atrial ventricular valve on the left side is called the bicuspid valve or the mitral valve. This valve is the pulmonary semilunar valve where the right ventricle will push blood through it to the lungs. This valve is the aortic semilunar valve, and the left ventricle, when it contracts, will push blood throughout the aorta to the rest of the body. This portion of the heart is the SA node, or the sinoatrial node. It is also considered the pacemaker of the heart. The next node is the atrial ventricular node, and there is a slight delay in the conduction at this area. The next step is the bundle of Hiss, which will eventually branch out into left and right branches. These branches will go down to the apex of the heart and then back superior to the base and extend out into Purkinje fibers. As the conduction flows through the heart tissue, we are able to monitor this conduction through an EKG. The first wave of an EKG is the P wave. During the P wave, the atria are depolarizing. The conduction will be going from the SA node to the AV node and causing contraction of the atrias on the left and right sides. The next portion of the EKG is the QRS wave. This wave is rather large as it indicates a lot of conduction going through the left and right ventricles of the heart. The blood is being pushed through the semilunar valves, either to the lungs or to the body. The last wave of the EKG is the T wave. During T wave, the ventricles are being repolarized. One aspect that is not shown clearly on the EKG is when the atria is repolarized. This is because the ventricle QRS wave is so large that the atrial repolarization wave is lost. Thank you for watching and I hope this helps you.